Sports. If you have not followed his Triple H Horse Racing Podcast, you're missing out. It's one of the best podcasts in the country. Good evening and welcome to episode 298 of the HHH Racing Podcast. I am your proud host, Howard Kravitz. Thank you very much for joining us on one of the most special nights and podcasts in the history of this of the, all these shows. I cannot wait to talk about, discuss, interview, and have on once again the Dorman family, including the man himself. Cody Dorman. Please make sure you subscribe on the bottom right hand side of the screen. After you do that, hit that notification bell so that you know when new content will arise. And please smash, smash that like button. That will tell YouTube that people should be watching the HHH Racing Podcast. Of course, you can listen to us as well on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Anchor. We have fantastic Breeders' Cup Power Picks tip sheet. They're now available. Look below the video player. They're Fantastic. They're inexpensive, profitable, only $20 for both days. Please make sure you check out the Power Picks tip sheet, and you'll be signing up for that through our wonderful website, hhhracingpodcast.com. We are also on Instagram as well. Please follow us on Instagram. You can see that at the bottom of the screen. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at hkravitz. You can see that on, on my name tag. And scrolling at the bottom of the screen, email hkravitzhorse at gmail.com. I want to very briefly, before I bring on my wonderful co-host and we bring on the Dorman family as well, thank you very much for watching the show. We are expecting a huge live audience tonight. If you're watching on YouTube, which is what we'd recommend, you comment in the live chat. We will be getting to many of your questions for the Dorman family. So please put your questions in the live chat and we'll get some many of those as we can. We have many Breeders' Cup shows coming up that we like to tout. Let's do that right now very quickly because we are very excited to bring you many shows. So as we're filming this Tuesday night, tomorrow we have a double header. Our international entry show, it's one of the most popular shows of the year with Davey Lane will be here at that time at five o'clock Eastern, we have a pre entry show tomorrow night, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, as the entries are going to be coming out tomorrow at noon Eastern. That's Wednesday, noon Eastern. Then we have shows Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a Breeders' Cup betting contest show, which will be fantastic Sunday night, followed by a post draw reaction Monday night, and then our huge blowout previews of Friday and Saturday on Tuesday and Wednesday night. We also have one, we have two uh, interviews that are a surprise. One we're gonna announce tonight. There will be another one coming up as well later in the week. And then our Betten and Boozen uh, young handicappers who do a fantastic job will also be dropping some taped shows next week. The early pick five for Breeders' Cup Friday, the early pick five for Saturday, and the two day $1 pick six preview we have everything covered like a glove, ladies and gentlemen. You do not want to miss any of that. And as I just also touted, I want to show you, just announcing right now for the first time, although I did uh, put this out on X, we were so honored and privileged this morning. Let me bring on right now a gentleman who helped me uh, with this, the one, my wonderful co-host, good friend from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the Saratoga Special, Mr. Paul Hallen. Paul? How you doing tonight? I'm doing great, Howard. We just, uh, I started my day with you, and I wouldn't say I'm going to end. I am going to kind of end my day with you because they're going to be doing the Keeneland Power Picks after the show. So as it's all Howard about, all the time. It doesn't get any better. As we've talked about, this is a labor of love, Paul. I mean, if you don't love oh. doing this, I don't, I don't know what we're doing here. So, uh, And, Paul, I also want to publicly thank you very much for helping set up the interview with the Dorman family tonight. Uh, before we get into that, Talk, we'll just talk for 30 seconds. We have to talk about it. We are dropping an unbelievable show that we had this morning with the one and only Aiden O'Brien. Here is a little screenshot of it, Paul. We talked with him this morning. What a fantastic gentleman. What an unbelievable trainer. Yeah, as we say in the business, Howard, that's a good get, right? We were uh, reached out and, uh, 
you know, all trainers are busy at all times of year, especially Breeders' Cup. But here's a guy who's getting ready to ship a half dozen or so horses over here on Sunday, according to what he told us, uh, coming off morning training. And he was good enough to carve out about 20 minutes for us. And I, I just think it's fantastic. I, I as I, you know, I, I said to my wife when we, we got done, I said, you know, you, you can make a cogent argument that he's the greatest trainer of all time. I'm not saying he is. I'm saying you, if if you want to have a debate team in your high school, Howard, and you give one side that argument, they could they could make a coach. So it, it was just great. He was very gracious and uh, uh, I think and insightful as we talked about. You know, he he answered the questions. You know, so yes. the the entries are out tomorrow at noon Eastern time. But if you want to know which of Aiden's horses are coming and not coming, stay tuned. Um, Paul, I'm going to go ahead and check the comments real quick. We do not have right now the Dormans in the background. Oh, they I'm, said they were. They're not in there? Uh, they're actually not in the background right now, um, which oh. makes me afraid that maybe they have the wrong StreamYard link, Paul. Do you uh, want to check that out? Um, yep. So I we might will have definitely get them on, folks. Right? No worries. We, this is all live shows here. I'm, I'm guessing maybe they um, pressed the wrong button. They have the wrong link. Um, I can send it to you again, Paul, if necessary. Cody interview. Cody interview. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they, I think they that's the one it. I sent them. So let me um, let me double check here real quick with something, Paul. The do you have the link should m should end with an m and an i? Is that what they have? Is that what you have? The link should end with an m and an i. Yeah, that's what I have. Okay, so, so they should have the correct link. Um, it, it ends with a g i n m m i. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, if you, if There's necessary, somebody, Paul, okay. if you want to text them or call them, feel yeah, free. Yeah, I just text, so. I just text them. Okay. So, um, they'll be on just a minute, folks. Again, no worries. We want this live podcast here. We'll, we'll be having them on for sure. Let's go to some comments real quick, Paul, uh, before we have them on here. We've got Robbie Courtney's here. Robbie, thank you. He says, thank you hard for having this interview. So grateful. We appreciate that, Robbie. Katie, I'm so ready for this. People are very Excited. Racing downwind. David Duncan. Good evening, all. I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you, HHH, uh, for doing it. A lot of real things. Michael Austin from the West Coast is here. Fantastic. Oh, look who's here. Camden Dorman. So proud of our cousins and Cody. Nice. Smith. Have you met Camden, uh, Paul? I have not. I have not. Wow. Camden, thanks for joining the show. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, we, Trish Smith is here as well. So pumped for this guest. Most inspirational guest on the pod. Could not I agree more. And then we also have Todd Chandler. Great story, great family, great horse. This is exactly what we want, people. So please keep commenting in uh, the live chat. Paul, Paul, do we have a quick update uh, from? I just resent it and texted it. And so stay tuned. They should be hopping in. Okay. No problem. Yeah. Uh, Danny Melville said, "Hey Paul, tell Kelly to stop chatting and get <laughs> no, out of here." So, Danny, you know, you know, who Danny Melville is Howard. I do. Explain Melville, to everyone who that is. Danny Melville uh, is a, the Godolphin guy who actually led Dance Card. He led the, Dance Card the mayor and led Cody's Wish the Fall out of wow. his stall for the first time to meet Cody Dorman in October of 2018. Uh, Paul, we have liftoff here in the background. You see the Dorman family. Looks like they're all pretty much in the camera there. Uh, it's a little Kelly, surprise you... for you coming too, Coward. A little surprise for you coming. For me? Yeah, you'll oh, t take oh, a nice. look when you bring them on. I, I think you're going right. to be very impacted. Wow. Okay. Well, listen, people are waiting. Like, let's just bring them on. The last <laughs> thing, this is very important though, Paul, for everyone in the live chat. We so appreciate the Dorman family being on. Paul, because of the way Cody communicates, can you explain to people how the questions are going to be dealt with with Cody and then how they're also going to be dealt with the family as well? Yeah, so we sent the questions in advance uh, for Leslie and Kelly to load them on uh, Cody's device. So his answers, we, he knows what we're asking him. He has preloaded the answers. It's just a lot easier for him to communicate that way. So we'll be dealing with the questions for him that way and uh, certainly we have Kelly and Leslie live for any other questions. And if there's something that urgent, I'm, I'm sure we can get a, a brief answer out of Cody, but we wanted to get as many in as we could. For sure. And I see Kylie is also with us. We're so excited. All right, Paul, I think it's about that time. Let me set up my banners here with all of the questions. 
Paul, I would be remiss if I didn't let you do the introductions. And as you do the introduction, maybe tell people also about how you got involved with the family to start with, and then go ahead and introduce them. I'll bring them on screen. Sure. Well, I was assigned to cover the Forgo Stakes in 2022. Thank you, Tom Law. And uh, thank you, uh, Pipeline, for softening up Jackie's Warrior a little bit. And thank you, Junior Alvarado, for riding a perfect race. And uh uh, had a few days to do it and uh, connected with the Godolphin people who have been unbelievable throughout this. I have my Godolphin shirt on tonight there with the go. proper arm. Very and nice. uh, that led to what has become a great friendship, I'm proud to say. And uh, someday you'll be reading about it on the pages of a book. I am plugging away at a book on this story. Uh, I've always wanted to write one, and I thought if I didn't do it on this, I never would. So, and they've been great about being accessible, not just to us, but pretty much to everyone. We have a little fun with Kelly, uh, as you see from Danny Mulvihill in the comments. So, uh, yeah, there's just great people from Richmond, Kentucky. Uh, I think everyone knows Cody's story. Cody has got a big birthday coming up. Howard, what do you see in the picture that makes you especially? Oh, happy? Cody's got an HHH Racing podcast on. <laughs> Cody, I love that, buddy. <laughs> Hello, Dorman family. From left to right, Paul, go ahead and introduce the Dorman family from left to right. I would like to go from right to left so I could start All right, with Leslie. Let's do that. That's fine, too. That's Leslie. Yeah. And Kylie, you like my banner, Kylie, friend of Kylie. Um, and then uh, the man himself, Cody, and uh, Kelly, uh, also known as Chatty Kathy, according to Mr. Mulvihill in the chat. That's the greatest comment I've had tonight. But, uh, yeah, they're all there live. Cody looks great, doesn't he, Howard? He does. Dorman family, how are we doing tonight? Doing good. We appreciate you guys having us on. Oh, absolutely. Leslie, uh, Kylie, and, of course, Cody. And I love the glasses, too, that Cody's wearing. He looks very astute. Uh, looks like he might be ready to take another test. Paul, before we get to the questions, I heard from you that Cody recently took the ACT, which is for all juniors, and did very well. So Cody's a very bright young man. We're so proud of him. Well, he's a Howard's a high school teacher, guys, as you know. So let Leslie could talk about that, right, Leslie? Sure. He uh... Absolutely. I know that's a little bit of a surprise, Leslie. That's not the first question out of the box, but. <laughs> Thanks. Um... Yes, he took the ACT test and he made it. He first one he got a, was it a eleven, I think. I think so. And then he took it. He studied really, really hard, and he wound up making a thirteen. Wow, Cody, we are so proud of you, man. That is fantastic. We have questions pre-prepared, as you know, folks, and we're going to go ahead and, uh, as you know, the Dorman family, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, read off the questions. They're also going to appear at the bottom of the screen. And then interjecting with our questions for Cody, we'll have questions for you, of course, uh, Leslie and Kelly and, and and also Kylie as well, um, if any questions come up. And then we have a big live chat. So we're going to have a lot of questions from the great uh, horse racing fans here to ask you. So here's the first question for the young man himself, Cody Dorman, who, by the way, is turning 18 very soon and we'll talk about that at the end of the show as well cody here is your first question it is on the bottom of the screen how do you feel about traveling to california to watch cody's wish run in the breeders cup i'm a little nervous but I am also super excited. Terrific. Well, we understand why he'd be nervous, Paul. It's going to be a tough field. And I, don't, uh, I know that you're, you know, you like to bet a little bit, Kelly. It seems like a lot of people are going to try to beat Cody's wish uh, in a week and a half, which is fine for all of us. We'll just get a better price on him, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Paul, it's going to be a tough race for sure. But Cody is primed and ready to go. He's been working very well, Cody's wish. Yeah, he has. Uh, I believe he's getting on the plane tomorrow if the schedule holds. He's supposed to fly out there tomorrow and uh, probably have a workout over the track. And uh, yeah, well, they're all tough races in the Breeders' Cup. But, you know, he had to run down a really good horse called Cyberknife last year. Uh, so, you know, if he brings his A game, uh, he wins the race. You know, he didn't bring it at Saratoga for whatever reason. He got beat. But if he brings his A game, we'll, we'll, he'll be okay. 
Well, I got a little surprise for the Dorman family. Let's watch the stretch run of, and I think actually this is going to be without sound, so I'll just leave it on. Here's the stretch run of last year's Beers Cup. Leslie and Kelly, can you describe how what you were feeling as Cody's wish was sweeping wide here, about to take the lead? Uh, we, we had a, a whole lot of nerves going on. I mean, you know, when uh, they were coming down the stretch, I knew it was going to be close. I had cyber knife, I, you know, still in the lead right there. But, uh, uh, you know, we were actually in the winter circle watching it. And uh, when they went by us, you know, we couldn't see the, the uh, finish line. So they were just – I didn't know how it was going to be, but uh, I, when I seen all the tears and the screaming, it was like a tidal wave of tears coming down toward us, and kind of kind of figured out pretty quick what happened. It was amazing. Why well, I told the story, Paul. I, I actually told you the story, Kelly and Leslie. Last time I saw you, we were betting in the Breeders' Cup betting challenge. These are hardcore betters, and once they brought Cody's uh, wish to the winner's circle, grown men tears flowing in in the room that we were betting it was it was absolutely amazing everyone was so happy for you and for cody let's go ahead on to the second question paul i'll let you go ahead and read it for cody okay cody can you describe what it has been like watching a horse named after you accomplish all that cody's wish has accomplished He makes me happy. I always think about him, and I'm honored because he is named after me. He inspires me to keep trying and to work harder. I hope that I can do the same for him. Uh, we, we know we know that you are going to work hard and do everything you can, Cody, to continue to live your life. Speaking of living your life, uh, Dorman family, and this is either for uh, Leslie or Kelly, a lot of people don't know that uh, there were some milestones for Cody recently, especially school-related events. Can you tell everyone what special event he went to, escorted by, I believe, one of his healthcare providers? Uh, what was it? A few uh, in the fall, correct? Yes, he went to the prom. That was, was back in spring. Yes. Yeah. It was in the spring last year, yes. And how was that for Cody? <laughs> he was very excited. He's still excited about it, and he's... I think for getting prepared for his senior prom, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Very right. exciting. Can, we, can I can I throw a question to Kylie for a second? Yes. Hi, Kylie. How you doing? Good to see you. Kylie. Kylie, we love your shirt. How about Kylie's shirt? Uh, yeah. Oh, is that? Oh, Boston? I love it. Kylie, yeah. you just turned 10 years old, correct? Yeah. How was your birthday? Did you get some great presents? Yeah. What? Can you tell us what you got or what you liked? Um. Lip gloss. Oh, very important. Ooh. Very important. All right. That's yeah. great. God. Uh, oh, your birthday was. What was it? Dolly Parton. Yeah, she. No, nice. Oh, wow. All right. A Dolly Parton themed birthday. Ah, oh, terrific. We've got a lot of comments. Thanks for that, Kylie. We've got some comments in the chat here. This is from Richard Avalar, of course. You can read the bottom of the screen, everyone. Hey, Corey Dorman and family, I hear Cody likes to fish. Is that right? I did not know that. What other oh. animals does he like? Thank you. Uh, parents, uh, what's what's one of the bigger fishes he's caught? Can you tell us a little about his <laughs> fishing expeditions and what other animals he likes? Uh, he, he, he's loved fishing for a long time. I fish a lot. And he just took up with it. I, you know, I, love, I fish a lot of tournaments and stuff. And Sometimes it don't go the way I want to, so I I get a text in the middle of the day, and he's kind of fussing and letting me know what I need to be throwing and stuff. So, <laughs> uh, other animals, uh, he's 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 always like penguins, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how he got into penguins, but uh, <laughs> I, I I don't think they're walking around uh, the Kentucky area too often. It's a little too warm <laughs> there, but you know who doesn't like penguins? I mean, get far from the zoo. Absolutely. Uh, uh, milestones earlier, not to uh, uh, Cody actually had uh, his senior pictures taken this past Saturday. Uh, got to go over to Gainesboro and get them taken. Oh, wow! Uh, wait to get them back. I uh, would appreciate uh, Danny Mulva Hill and all the folks over at Godolphin yes. and stuff, but uh, uh, got uh, several of them taken with dance card, which is a 
Cody's wishes, uh, mother and yes, real special. Yeah, it's a very, kind of very cool. We have a comment from Joe Metka. Uh, you Tell folks you met Joe. Joe Metka, part of the BCBC crew. You met him um, at Paul's house over the summer. He said it was such an honor to meet Cody and the family at Paul's house in Saratoga. What an amazing story and family. Uh, Philly Joe, thanks for joining the show, man. Really do appreciate it. Paul, I think it's time to go on to the next question. Cody, I'm going to read the next question for you. And here it is. It is, could anything ever top last year's Breeders' Cup win? I'm sad, but also excited. I don't like it because. Uh, you hit the wrong button. There you go, buddy. Oh, uh, okay. No problem. Yes, if he can win this year's Dirt Mile. <laughs> ah, yeah, absolutely. Winning this Dirt Mile would be fantastic for sure. That that would top it, Cody. That's a, a great answer. And, Paul, I mean, this is one of these situations where, as, as sort of as your hardcore betters, like we said, um, he's going to be. I'm going to guess around seven to five, eight to five could be that low. And a lot of people are going to send their money elsewhere. But I guarantee you, even if people have their money sent elsewhere, Paul, their heart is going to be in one place as we watch Cody's wish run in a week and a half. Yeah, it's a, it can be a, you know, you can lose money and still be happy, which is what's better than that. Oh, winning money and being happy. That's better than that. For sure. Um, do you have a question, Paul, for either Kelly or Leslie, or do you want to move on to the next uh, prepared question? No, I think we should. Cody's on a roll here. I think we Cody should is stick on with a roll. Cody. All right. Well, this is, Paul, this is your question for Cody. Yeah, and I think that's the one he hit. Cody, this will be his last race. How do you feel about his racing career ending? I'm sad, but also excited. I don't like it because I won't get to watch him race anymore. But I'm glad that he will always be nearby, and I will get to see him more often. Yes, it's very cool. That leads right into our next question, That's, Cody. Yeah, I think he – Cody's psychic, Howard. He answered how, your how next does, question. How does, <laughs> man, how, well, I'll just go right to the next question then. Cody, are you happy that he's moved into his career as a stallion, and uh, he will be in Lexington. You can visit him whenever you want. That dang HHH hat, Paul, gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll 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 uh, get it going there. So everyone, just go ahead and be patient and uh, as he, as he he's, I'm very excited. I'm sorry. Was he just say he's very excited? Is that what he said? Yeah. Okay. Um, just I think you know, as someone as an educator and who's interested in you know helping children and whatnot. I think it'd be very interesting for the audience at home. Um, Kelly and Leslie, can you please explain what Cody is doing uh, or in general what he does to communicate with his device? If you could just briefly explain what's happening. Um, turn, so I, can see. I don't know if you can read the screen or not, but uh, he's got a little camera that right yeah, here. It's a little bit too bright. We can't read the screen, but I think we can we can picture it. So he... Uh, that camera picks up on a sticker on his nose bridge and it projects a little red dot on the screen and, uh, he can spell whatever he wants. Uh, wow. uh, it's, uh, you know, it, it works as a touch touch screen too, similar to iPad, but, uh, the, the red dot activates everything on it. Um, you know, he, I, I, I'm still learning stuff he could do on it. I mean, he, uh, he played a joke on us not too long after we had that. Uh, we were somewhere and it quit working. And we were, I mean, you fool that thing for 10 minutes trying to get it back going. And we noticed he was over in his chair laughing. And he, <laughs> oh, and uh, <laughs> we give it back to him and he got it back going. But uh, yeah, uh, the it, it really helps in situations like this to uh, get the questions to us uh, ahead of time. Sure. Uh, basically, we, we create icons with his answers. It takes a few days for him to spell everything out the way he wants. And, uh, and, but uh, if, we, if he tried to spell everything out, as you ask him now, it, it would take all night. Plus, he, gets he, he wants to get it out quick. Sure. But, 
uh, you know, we, we number the icons like in these interviews, one, two, three, uh, and so on. And it just, he can just, you know, touch on the icon and it gives the answer he's already gotten. Uh, Perfect. Uh, okay, Paul, we'll go ahead with the next uh, question. Uh, this is yours, I believe, for Cody. Yes, uh, he is going to be a stallion uh, starting uh, next year. Uh, any? Have you thought of any good names for his babies, Cody? This is going to be interesting. I'd love to hear his <laughs> answers. Yes, but I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cody, I wow, that I little love rascal! It. I was so I oh, of all the questions, Leslie and Kelly. I was almost as excited as most about this one, and it's a cliffhanger, Paul. We're we're, we're not going to know, but I You're was going to have to wait. Well, Don't I'm it. assuming that the family will obviously okay. uh, have some strong influence with uh, the Godolphin people on on naming his uh, babies when that arrives. You think? I hope you're going to have a say, Leslie and Kelly. Correct? You would think. I hope I mean, I hope you guys don't feel bad because he's not telling us either. So, uh, <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, that actually makes me feel a lot better, Kelly, actually. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Howard, there was a good question in the chat for Kylie from uh, Richard Alva. Uh, Kylie just stepped away for a minute. Oh, so have to. oh okay. Yeah. Um, oh, I see that. that was good. I did want to get some questions here, though. Um, we Our comments. We have one from Good Flop 2. Great to see Cody here tonight. Hope Cody's wish wins one more. Next, you can watch his sons and daughters run. God bless you and your family. Thank you very much, good uh, flop too, uh, for your comment. Kylie, we have someone wants to ask you a question in the live chat, so let's get to it right now. It's from Richard Avalar. It says, what was it like riding Bugsy for Bill Mott? Thank you, guys. Tell everyone who Bugsy is, Kylie. Easy Bill Mott's pony. And how was that riding him? Really fun. Yeah. How long did you? How long were you actually on the horse? I don't know. Uh, was it like just a minute, or was it like no. fifteen minutes? Yeah, uh, ten minutes or so, I guess. Oh wow! She, Twice, right? Didn't she ride him two days? Yeah. She, yeah. 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 She never stopped smiling the whole time he, she was on. Do you want to? Do you want to learn to ride more, Kylie? Is that something you like to do more often? Yeah. Wow, maybe jump, maybe be a jumper, or maybe hey, be a thoroughbred uh, rider, right? Why not, Paul? We can always use some yeah. more well, fantastic you know, female riders in the game. Yeah, it's funny uh, how Kelly was going to be a jockey himself, but you know, as you can see, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that that's my problem. Although I'm working on it, Paul. You're gonna see a you're gonna see a slim down Howard in a week and a half. By the way, it's San Anita, but I'm working on that too. Yeah, <laughs> as someone joked in the program, I would say plus two hundred on the uh, or plus one hundred, whatever. In the uh, you know, a, a little bit a little bit too much uh, poundage to ride a horse. Uh, should we go on to the next question? Yeah, Paul? I think go we ahead. Yeah, I believe this question is for me. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, this question here we go, Cody. What does Cody's wish mean to you? What has been the best part of this journey with him? He means the world to me. He is my best friend. The best part is going to the races and getting to see how much the fans support him and hearing about how much this means to so many people. That's a great answer. And, you know, I just, whew, boy, this is big. <laughs> get a little emotional, get a little verklempt over here, Paul. Um, Leslie and, and um, Kelly, can you just describe your emotions coming into his last race? You know the crowd's going to be uh, pulling for Cody's wish. And you you mentioned, I know, Kelly, you mentioned specifically to some media, I believe, the love and support that you folks got at Saratoga this past Last summer, we were able to see you, and I saw as you were walking out of the 1863 club. There is with the Saratoga water. Thanks, Paul. I and mean, people are standing up and cheering for you. I mean, it was—it's just an incredible the amount of support that your family has gotten from the racing community. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you know, one of the biggest blessings that's came out of this, you know, the, the first and foremost is what the horse has done for Cody, uh, not only emotionally but physically. He's—he's he's just improved in all areas, but. Uh, you know, and, and we think about it and talk about it every day is that 
the connections, the people uh, that we've gotten to meet, uh, you know, and that's all across the board. Just uh, fans, you know, a lot of people we don't even, I don't even know their names and stuff, but they come up and tell us how much, you know, all this is meant to them. And, and you know, we've got, uh, Cody's gotten some cards, you know, pretty heartfelt cards and, and how much it impacted their lives and stuff. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, meeting all of you guys and stuff, you know, just kind of hanging out uh, you know, listening to, I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't have the horse stories that you do, but I, I love listening to them. Uh, but just, uh, there's so many fans and, and I mean, it's, it's never been overwhelming. You know, we appreciate everybody coming up and talking to us. And, uh, I mean, one of, one of my favorite times, uh, we had a, a gap in between, uh, uh, Godolphin had a horse at the Belmont Stakes race early. And then there was a gap between it mm -hmm. And the Met Mile, and uh, are you laughing, buddy? And uh, uh, me and Danny got to walk around, just uh, you know, check things out there at Belmont. And uh, you know, I was telling Leslie, I said I, Cody wasn't even with me, but there were so many people people recognized who he was, and I was telling how much the story meant to her. And I, I told her before we went to Saratoga, I said, uh, I said, uh, you know, everybody's great everywhere, but then people up in New York, man, they're kind of next level when it comes. <laughs> to oh yeah. And, and it, uh, we had a hard time leaving Saratoga, didn't we? I mean, we had such a great time. I mean, you know, the, the race wasn't what we hoped for, but uh, the the people, the town, everybody made it just uh, so perfect, so great. And uh, and that's, you know, it, it doesn't stop there. It's ever track. Uh, just uh, uh, it, it makes me feel good to know how much he appreciates that because it, Cody – uh, you know, he does a lot of uh, fundraising for Make-A-Wish and stuff and helps other kids. He loves helping other people. That's great. Uh, just, uh, you know, shape the world's in right now. I'm, uh, I'm all for, you know, helping give a little yeah. bit of a people. So that's that's the great, one of the greatest things that's came out of this. No, absolutely. All right, we have a question. Again, If you, we have a lot of people watching. Please comment in the live chat. We're planning going till approximately 8.30. Uh, it was sort of a hard out. So we have, we still have some time uh, for people to ask questions in the chat of the Dorman family. There's a question from Racing Down Wind. His, his real first name is, is David. The question is, before Cody's Wish started his racing career, did Cody have another favorite horse? That's a great question. Did Cody enjoy horse racing? Uh, watching it, you know, learning about it before Cody's Wish, or did everything just start with the horse, uh, Cody's Wish? You want to answer? You want me? Go ahead. Okay. You're doing great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, he he's just he's, he's loved. He's had that kind of a, a you know a little connection with uh, you know this that uh, you know dogs. Uh, uh, he's he's been around a few horses, yeah. goats, you know. Uh, as far as race horses, I can't think of anyone in particular, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, his TV, he's got a couple shows that he likes, but a majority of the time he's got it on horse racing. Though. He does. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, he, uh, you know, and that happened since Cody's wish and stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, we've, we've always loved horse racing. Uh, I, you know, I would have to say we were probably casual fans at best and, uh, her dad, you know, had horses growing up and stuff. But, you know, I've always, you know, here in Kentucky, you always watch the Derby and all that. But, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm we're miles ahead of where we was five years ago as far as horse racing. And yeah, I, well, you learn a lot when you uh, become interested in the game. And a few oh, years ago, uh -oh. oh, there we go. Are you there? Yeah, we lost yeah. you for a second. You're there. Go ahead. And a few years ago, it really sunk in on me how how deep we were involved in it because it was like, uh, I like college football. So I was sitting there one day watching college football and got bored and just flipped over on the, uh, started watching horse racing. It, was, it took me about five minutes and I started looking around. I got like, like, what happened? You know, <laughs> it, uh, uh, and it's pretty common now. I, I probably watch racing more than I do anything else. And it's, it's on almost every day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Leslie, I've got a question for you and, and, and Paul is, is, uh, way too humble to even bring this up, but this gentleman has been fantastic as well for your family as he writes his book. Can you talk a little bit about what it's been like to uh, work with Paul and get to know Paul 
at a, you know, a very uh, deep level as he prepares to write a book about your son and his horse? Oh, Paul's been great to work with. And Paul Colley sides with me a lot too. Mm -hmm. So I like it even better. <laughs> so Paul, um, Paul's been very special in our family. He's, uh, we've just took him in as one of our own. And he's been to the house uh, several times, correct? He has. Yes. yes. Yeah. We, yeah. we all feel the same about Paul and then Paul and it's congrats on, on the great job you're doing with the Dormans. And uh, I, I, we promise everyone here, the HHH racing podcast, when we get information as to when the book will be published and no, no, no pressure on the, you know, the timetable because it's a long process as we talked about earlier uh, today, but uh, we're all looking forward to that. And it's, it's going to be New York times bestseller, Paul. We are sure that's going to happen. <laughs> well, <laughs> no pressure. See. No pressure. <laughs> A um, few more, two more questions from our great uh, chatters, and then we'll go ahead and ask the, what, two more questions, I believe, for Cody. Question in the chat that I wanted to bring up. This is from Trish Smith. Trish Smith, guys, is a great fan of the show and lives in Lexington, he actually. And, and she wants to know, what was your thought watching Cody's Wish first race you attended? Did you always think he was a Breeders' Cup talent? Leslie or... Uh, Kelly, you remember the first race that you attended oh, yeah. uh, in person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we, uh, uh, it, we were we were really excited about it. I mean, especially you know just having this simply you know simply having a horse named after him uh, was beyond words. But uh, that the, uh, the first race we actually went to was uh, uh, I, I don't think we were expecting the the media to. To have caught on to it, is, I guess that we we were baptized by fire on that one. So uh, it, it 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 wasn't bothersome or anything. It just uh, I don't think we were ready for all that. It was, but it, it was really good. Everybody has been great. But uh, you know, Cody watched the first three races, and he told Leslie one day that he, uh, you know, he he's not going to win a race until I'm there to see it. You know, it was like he's waiting on me. Wow. Uh, you know, we took, uh, you know, I didn't, didn't doubt him, but you know, I didn't know, but, uh, uh, you know, and, and it was really neat. Uh, we hadn't seen him in probably over a year, hadn't we, or, or better. And, uh, you know, got to see him in the paddock and, uh, and, you know, when they cut him loose, uh, out of the gate, you know, I think he missed that in Churchill's track record at the mile that day by like three yeah. tenths a second. And, uh, it was I don't know if I really have words for it. It was, I mean, it, it, I mean, it was top of the world and everything, but uh, it, it was incredible. Uh, and uh, just real quick, uh, going back to those first three races, he finished third. Uh, out of everything he's done, one of the things that uh, I, I got to add this that uh, really has stuck with me was his first race. You know, we were excited for that, but, uh, you know, he, 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 he was awful coming out of the gate. You know, he's still learning to be a race horse. He got in himself in so much trouble and everything. But right at the end, he 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 dug down, and pulled out a third place finish. And we were excited about it. We was hoping he'd win and stuff. But uh, you know, we probably I know you probably watched that race twenty times, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And and I came home from work one day and and she told me to she said, Sit down, I want you to watch this. And she put the race on. I thought, well. I'm watching this race again for the dozenth time. I mean, it was not, not that I'm complaining. And she said, did you see how he run? Did you notice that? And I said, yeah. I said, he was, you know, had all kinds of problems. And she said, he's lived, he ran that race like Cody's lived his whole life. And by her saying that, that, that stuck, that one race right there stuck with me as much as any of them. And uh, uh, that's where it all started, you know. So. That's a great analogy. Just fighting through adversity, right? Horse like horse, yeah. uh, like child. Amazing. Yeah, Do you know, uh, Kelly and Leslie, the plans once you're at San Anita, when are you going to be in California? And can you tell just very, you don't have to go through your whole itinerary, but what are you planning on doing uh, in California for the Breeders' Cup? And my last question in response to that is, are you for sure, is the horse going to see Cody like right before the race or do, do you know the logistics of what's going to happen here? Because I know often they take the horse to see Cody. What is it in the morning or sometimes 
you know, not too soon before the race as well. Yeah. Uh, last year we went and seen him like three days before he actually raced the Dan Kingham. But uh, no, we're flying out next Tuesday, uh, 31st, and uh, just kind of going to use that day to get, you know, settled in, let him get some rest. I don't want to hit him too, uh, don't want to push him too hard for the rest of the week. And then sure. Wednesday during the day, we're, we're pretty much wide open, but we have the uh, awards ceremony uh, that right. Cody, Cody's Wish won. Um, I've had uh, somebody reach out to me to, uh, uh, do some film stuff for Thursday morning, but uh, as far as uh, a set plan or day, we would we would actually meet with the horse. And, uh, that's not nobody's talked about anything like that. Right. Uh, I'm got, sure they have that in the works because you know Cody's wish has to see his buddy Cody before uh, he breaks. I, mean, I mean, we, we got to make it happen. He needs to go down there and uh, you know talk to him what they do. So oh, whatever whatever kind of vibe they got, they they, they yeah. absolutely that will happen for sure. Paul, I'm gonna let you go actually and read this next question from a fan, because this is from Robbie Courtney. I think this is a very important question that people will be interested in. Paul. Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, what can we, other than get Leslie some more airtime, uh, what can we do to help Cody and his amazing family? It's a good question. Do you have a foundation or is there if someone wants to um, help the cause or, um, you know, the, the syndrome that, uh, that Cody has, by the way, there's another, there's a child, I believe, or actually he's a young man. Carson's run, correct, Paul? Carson's run. Yeah, Friday. Um, Friday. He's running Friday. I'm assuming you folks are familiar with that horse or that story. They have a they have a, a young man, I believe he's in his early, he's in his 20s, I believe, Paul, that has a, a the same or a similar the um, same. syndrome, I believe, as, as Cody, correct? Yeah, he's yes. got as Wolf Hershorn syndrome. I I think he may be 31. I, I'm okay. I'm I think he is. He is. You're have right. you met them, uh, Leslie and Kelly? No, we haven't met them, but uh, he's a good friend of Terry Finley. And uh, yeah. Terry, I spoke with Terry when I was at Belmont, and okay. he told me about his, you know one of his best friends had a son with what Cody had. And uh, Paul, I think uh, when Carson's run and ran his first race, you'd actually text me that morning to let me know how he done. And uh, it, it's it, it's really neat to know that. But anyway, um, by meeting Terry, you know, we exchanged numbers and stuff. Uh, I, I, as soon as I found out, I texted him and congratulated him and the family and stuff. And, uh, he, uh, he put me in the group text with, uh, Carson's father, Wade. And, uh, we usually race day, you know, if Cody's wish is running or Carson's run. We kind of text a little bit, but, uh, uh, if everything goes smooth, hopefully we're we're planning on trying to hook up, meet with them, let uh, let them two meet, and uh, it, it'd be really special. Is there something that our fans can do for you, for Cody or the family? Do you have uh, any kind of fundraising events or any kind of charity events coming up, or just if you want to help out, what, what would you suggest? Uh, make make a wish without a doubt. You know, we wouldn't be sitting here uh, talking to you guys if it wasn't for them. I mean, they're uh, you know. <laughs> that do uh, you know, there's a there's a actually a wolf hirshhorn uh, uh, support group uh, i'm not sure uh, okay probably look it up i guess check, check out the support group or just donate to the make-a-wish foundation paul yeah. they do yeah. a fantastic job and they just had the make-a-wish day paul at keeneland recently correct through this year they did yeah i was hoping to get down for it but it didn't didn't work in the schedule but it was last week and i know the the Dormans were there, and every day at Caneland's a good day. I'm sure it was a great day. But, yeah, the, it's make a wish of, what is it, Ohio, Indiana, in Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So okay. that's the chapter that uh, it, they've been involved with, Howard. And I actually, the woman who runs it is a great woman named Faith Hacker, who I spoke to. Uh, for the book, for the purposes of the book, because, you know, Make-A-Wish plays a, a leading role in this story. And, of course, you know, we've talked about it. It's it's not because that's how Cody met Cody's wish. His first wish was to go to Bass Pro headquarters, back to the fishing <laughs> question. So, uh, hey, that's a good wish right there, too. There'll be... Uh, There'll be plenty. Uh, there'll be definitely a chapter devoted uh, to that. I had a chance to speak to Mark Zona, who's the premier fishing broadcaster out there, who's a good good pal of Cody's. Uh, in fact, Cody's dog is named Zona, I believe. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, fishing okay. does play a big part of the story. 
have a horse name zone before he's done. I don't know if he's sitting <laughs> on that one or not. Oh, that'd be well, that, one. that might be the one of the answers. Yeah. There you uh, go. I uh, appreciate uh, them asking that. Uh, uh, the, you know, the make a wish that they, you know, I know his story's kind of, you know, blown up and got uh, uh, really out there. But, I mean, that, that, that foundation impacts every single child like that. You know, yeah. what, uh, you know it's... It's. Uh, I always say they provide a type of medicine that you can't put in a pill bottle or a prescription pad. They, uh, it's just uh, uh, life changing. <laughs> yeah, so well said. I think this is a great time, Paul, to ask uh, the last question for Cody. Then I saw one comment in the chat that I think is worth discussing, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up the show. So, Cody, here is the last question from your buddy Paul. All right, Cody. Don't go, don't go easy on your parents here, Cody. Your 18th birthday is coming up. Have you thought about what you might want for presents? It's a long list. It's a very long list. Kind of thing deep. Birthday cake with Cody's wish again. I also want to go see the beach and the ocean. And I want to go to Dollywood. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Well the beach. See the beach and the ocean, which they could do. They could maybe they maybe they can do it on the trip at, at the Breeders' Cup. Go to Dollywood. I heard. And what what was the first one, uh, Kelly and, and Leslie? He's wanting to have some birthday cake with Cody's wish. Uh Oh, to with the horse himself? Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, the first year he ran, uh, we took Cody down. He was still at Churchill Downs, and uh, we took – he hadn't left to go to Payson Park in Florida yet, and uh, we took Cody over as an early birthday present uh, to meet him and just hang out with a horse, you know, on the backside of the track. You know, that's when all, all the – their magic happens. And uh, uh, Kenny McCarthy and Penny Gardner uh, uh, had a cake made for Cody that day. Uh, happy birthday and stuff because Cody's birthday is not until December, but we knew he would be leaving. Uh, Cody's wish would be leaving after Thanksgiving, and uh, surprisingly, uh, uh, Cody's wish got to eat a lot of the cake, didn't he? I, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I don't know, maybe that's why he likes Cody showing up so much. That could be, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it was a real good time. Really great day, you know. Penny and Kenny, both uh, uh, Kevin Kirsten, all, all the guys over at uh, 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 Churchill Downs. Uh, you know, we're fortunate enough to meet them, and uh, you know, you stay, you stay in quite good contact with Penny, don't you? It's just, uh, uh, just a blessing to be around, around them, and get to hang out. And uh, you know, race day special, but the non-race days are really special too. Absolutely. It's all very special. There's two comments in the chat and then we'll go ahead and uh, actually let's go three comments in the chat. Uh, let's go first from Richard uh, Avalar, who said the Dormans and Cody's wish will forever be linked together in history. Thank you uh, all for the great ride. Thank you from Teresa Bethel. Uh, it has been amazing to share the love of racing with Cody. Life made us family but love made us friends. Very well said. And from the host of Benton Boozen here on the HHA Tracing Podcast, Kyle Roscoe. Kyle, thanks for watching tonight. Love it, guys. Brilliant job tonight. Excited to hopefully see the family again in a, a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to let Paul end the show, but uh, Leslie and Kelly, I look forward to seeing you guys and, of course, Cody <laughs> and Kylie, uh, you know, in a week and a half and giving you guys a big hug. And I know as long as uh, – as Paul's alive and I'm friends with Paul, I have a great chance uh, to see you guys as well, because I know that this journey is not going to end uh, here in a week and in a week and a half with, with all of us. So Paul, I'll let you go ahead and finish your comments, but thank you very much, Cody. Thanks a lot, buddy. We really appreciate you coming on tonight, Paul. I'm going to let you have the final word. We'll let the Dormans go and then you and I will close out the show, Paul. Yeah, well, we all have to save up so we can buy one of those babies. Of course, that's the that's going to be the long yes, range plan. Sure. We gotta, we gotta, we got Howard. We have to hope the BCBC goes well, and we can maybe, oh, well. uh, maybe, maybe get a down payment on one of those Cody's maybe wish the babies. Will cut us a deal, Paul. Maybe they'll cut us a little bit of a deal. You know. Well, you know, it's funny, and we should do this while while the Dormans are on the screen. You mentioned them, and you know, Danny Mulvihill's in the chat. 
And the award that uh, the doorman, the award on Wednesday night is for Team Cody's Wish. It's the Mr. Fitz Award. It's from the National Turf Writers and Broadcasters Association, of which I'm a proud member. And it's for typifying the spirit of racing. And we've talked about that. No one does it better than the Dormans. But it is special because it is the team. And it really can't be overstated. Uh, the role that the Godolphin folks have played in this. And, and, and my, from my first involvement, which was simply, you know, getting in touch with Mary Bourne at Godolphin to get Kelly Dorman's number to say, to see if he wanted to talk about this, this story uh, after the forego and, you know, having been able to be down there and, and see them at the races and see how they have treated the Dormans and making sure they get to the races um, and, and it extends to Bill Mott and his team. Uh, Kelly mentioned uh, Kenny and Penny. And, and then, of course, there's Anna, his his groom, who's with him every day. And God love Irma up at <laughs> Bill Mott's barn in Saratoga. And, but the, the Godolphin, you know, it's and, and I'm going to write about this. You know, Godolphin is this, you know, big organization run by one of the richest guys in the world, right? The, he's the, the ruler of Dubai. But I, I got to tell you, the, the people, every, uh, and the, the Dormans could speak to this better than me, but I wanted to say it with them on the screen. Every person that I have come in contact with Godolphin, from Michael Banahan to Dan Pride to Danny Melville to Mary Bourne, and the, and the list goes on, they have just gone out of their way to make sure that this story has, you know, has had, has lived on. And, and I'm sure they'll still do that uh, when he's a stallion. So, so hats off to them. And uh, uh, these guys have been very generous with their time. Uh, many, many Sunday night zoom calls for me to get the meat and potatoes of this book and uh, have a, a lot of what I need, not, not quite all of it, but uh it, it, as I said to them, it, it is definitely going to happen. And uh, as long as there's one copy that goes to them and they like it, anything else, the the bestseller list is for that's I I don't want to say I don't care about that, but that's not my my goal and motivation. Right. So I hope you guys have a safe trip, and uh, look forward to uh, I'm pulling into town Wednesday. And we'll look forward to seeing you at the banquet on Wednesday night. Howard comes in on Thursday. And uh, I think we're going to the racetrack Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because that's what we do. So, Of course. Yeah. Kelly, so Leslie, thank you. and Cody, thank you so much. God bless you guys. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye, guys. Thank you very much. Hey, Cody. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye, thank you. Love Thanks. the hat. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Woo! There you go. Oof. Boy, I, I, I might need I might need one of these for a second because woo. I didn't know. Uh, I, I thought I thought I, I was a little concerned. Together, but it was close, Paul. I, I, well, it was close. I thought when I thought when you saw the hat that that could be touch and go there. I, I knew that oh. I I got that out to in the I, I knew that would really uh, uh that that's a that's a big moment for the show with the big guy wearing our hat. You know, we had a big moment uh, earlier today on Tuesday with Aiden O'Brien. Th th this this tops that. I mean, there's no doubt about it. This is such a great family, and Paul, we're just, we're lucky to have you as part of the podcast. To be to be very honest, none of this would have happened without um, your relationship with the Dormans and your desire to write this book. Because I go and bring up Banners at the bottom of the screen, I almost feel weird promoting stuff right now after such an emotional uh, uh, interview. But just very quickly, once again, Paul, we've got fantastic uh, Breeders Cup power picks that are available down below the video player. Uh, we are dropping, I'm going to drop literally about 10 or 15 minutes, episode 301, which was our <clears throat> interview this morning with Aiden O'Brien, myself, and, and Paul, <clears throat> excuse me, for Breeders' Cup information. We have a ton of shows coming up tomorrow. We've got two shows. Paul, the one of the most popular shows all year with Davey Lane, talking about the international entries at 5 p.m. Eastern. Of course, this is Wednesday as we're filming this Tuesday night. And then we're going to be all the entries are coming in tomorrow through the Breeders' Cup, and tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, Wednesday night, we'll be discussing all the pre-entries. So for my wonderful co-host and friend, Paul Howen, this has been your host, Howard Kravitz. It's been episode 298 of the HHH Racing Podcast with the wonderful Cody Dorman and his family. Everyone, thanks for joining the show. Crush your bets at this year's Breeders' Cup.
Go Cody's Wish. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.